Hi, my lovely people. Y'all, we got to talk about Jasmine for a second. We just got to. Ooh, what in the world? Mm -mm -mm. Now, let me just say this, right? For some reason, Jasmine seems to get things misscrewed a lot. She seems to think that, oh, well, I gave my kids a birthday party and I did this and I did that. But people are still going to hate on me and people are still going to pick at me and people are still going to do this and people are going to do that. Honey, it's far from it. It's the fact that you put out content, right? That people look at and they say, well, hum, you've had two other birthdays since Legendary's birthday. Well, three, if you want to count the twins, as you know, each one, because it's been Amaya's birthday, it's been Ava and it's been Aiden's birthday. And then that little thing you did with Caitlin's, you know, beforehand and all of that. Okay. So we've seen it all and nothing has yet added up to Legendary's birthday. If you guys, you know, this is my thing. When she did Legendary's birthday, she made sure that she had shirts printed up, that they all had the same shirts on, right? She also made sure that she rented out a whole space. She made sure that she had photos. She made sure she had party favors. She had a cake that was part of the theme. She made sure that um, everybody left with a token. She made sure that um, Chris's other children got there. Like She made sure she went above and beyond for everyone's birthday other than the day this four, pretty much. Because at the end of the day, Jasmine, all people are trying to tell you is, girl, it's not adding up. The birthdays that you give the other kids are not adding up. You gave the kids a birthday party at the pool. whoop de doo whoop de doo Basil, right? Great, fabulous, happy that they had something. You went and got them an H-E-B cake. You let them blow it out at home. You did it all by yourself. You were really giving I'm single vibes. I'm upset. I'm lonely. I'm trying to pull it off. Leave me alone vibes. All in the same day or same video, you also had a basketball game, which the girls did not once again look like they were interested in. Then you had your baby out there with a soggy diaper on for most of the festivities and activities. So when you were at the pool, I'm wondering, does she have that boy on a swim diaper underneath those swim trunks? Or is he just, you know, out there free willing his style and doing whatever? Because honey, the diapers have been saggy on Legendary for a very long time. That is another single female thing that you are pulling. See, when Chris is around, you try to keep Legendary spick and span. You try to keep him, oh, let me pay extra attention to him. Let me treat him like a baby. I don't even want to give him silverware to eat with. Oh, he's choking. Oh, Get him out the high chair. Let him walk backwards. I mean, all this kind of crazy stuff, right? That's what you do when he's around. Now the baby, he got sagging diapers. His hair still ain't cut. It's still looking like a matted lint ball. And once again, it's not about the kids, honey. It's about the parenting. So let me make that very clear. And see, the more and more I look at Jasmine's channel, the more and more I just think, what the heck? What the heck? Why have you not gotten that baby's haircut? Why have you not taken him somewhere to even it out? And why hasn't his daddy cut his hair? Mainly because you sure had Chris cutting Aiden's hair. You sure had Chris out there cutting up Aiden's hair, lining him up and thinking it was done good enough. So why hasn't he taken out them same clippers and evened off that baby's hair so it can try and grow back and be even and be of a different kind of grade or, you know, start taking care of it from the roots, all, from the rooter to the tutor. I mean, I can't. Y'all, every time I see it, I just think, see, Jasmine, this is the stuff. You want something to have somebody, you know, let me leave his hair like this. Then somebody has something to talk about. So, honey, if that's what you want to do, we have addressed it, okay? Then I'm watching. I'm watching all the birthday fiesta. And, you know, I got to, you know, I got to talk about everything because I haven't been on these streets for a minute, okay? So, I'm watching all this birthday stuff. And I'm looking at the stuff she posted in her community post. And she dresses Ava up like a princess, right? And I'm like, oh, well, I'm happy Ava got something for her birthday. But see, most moms, when they dress their kids up like princesses, they at least comb their hair, right? Now, we know y'all been at the pool. And see, this is my thing. They have been at the pool all freaking day long. They was out there partying. They was out there with chlorine. She didn't bring none of them kids home, give them a bath, or wash their hair. She just is like, come on, y'all. Let's light these candles so I can catch it on camera. Let's get everything else done. You have put a brand new princess dress on a girl, and you allow her to stand there and look like a fool because... Everything else didn't match the princess dress. Most moms, when they dress their kids up like princesses and things like that, they'll put some like bedazzles in their hair or, you know, some lip glosses on them. I mean, they really, really get all dressed up. And I felt bad for Ava because I'm like, first off, whoever bought her this dress for her birthday, which probably was Jasmine, um, they bought it and it was super huge on her. It was hanging off of her. And if somebody else bought it, it's like, girl, have y'all not seen Ava in a long time? She's literally skin and bones like 
what size did y'all decide to pick out for this girl? And once again, Jasmine, this still all falls back on you as the mother. It still falls back on you as the mother. You continue to put out content and try and say you're doing your best. But honey, I'm going to tell you something that I've learned over these past years. When somebody is doing their best, it shows. Jasmine, you are doing the least amount of effort that you have to just to have content on your channel. Because I am a real firm believer if Jasmine was out here and she wasn't creating content. I mean, we've seen her even as a content creator say she couldn't afford to do birthday parties. Remember that? Yeah, I think that if she didn't feel like she had to prove something to people out here on YouTube, that those twins would have not even gotten that for their birthday because that's the least that Jasmine thinks about them. I mean, honey, it's just, I'm sorry, it's there in the pudding. I don't know if y'all been keeping up or watching because like I said, I ain't been out here on these streets like that, but I'm catching up. I'm catching up. We're going to do some Prissy P. We got to talk about that over there. We got to talk about a lot of other stuff, some peaches stuff. So we're going to get caught up, okay? So y'all got to let me know down in the comments what y'all think about this birthday blunder and what y'all want to see next because I am here, I am back, and I am trying. So I will see all my lovely people down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching.